She's just wanting another fight. Ignore her. You didn't go to London, then? Leave it. Soon as you won't listen, I thought a visual aid might help. Thank you very much, Miss Clever Clocks. I was going to clean it up anyway. She's not coming back, Lisa. Oh, look, my nerves can't take all this rowing. Well, shall we stay? No. I don't want two babies neglected because of her. Give Samson a kiss from me. For a job yesterday. I was in a clothes shop. Right. So I needed qualifications. Well, get some then. You're a bright girl. Well, you're a bright woman, but look at you. I didn't have a baby till after 40. So you can't blame everything on the fact that we're mothers. Well, you might be a mother. I just got caught short and had a kid. You're just new. I'll be going out later. No, you won't. Don't you dare! Can I not even look at it now? I'm getting to the end of my rope with you. House looks nice. If you're looking for another fight. Can I not even speak now? Just because I won't go along with what you want, you'll stop me from breathing next. I have had enough of you and your mouth! Why can't you stay away from me? But you don't. You keep coming back for more. Another argument because you know you're in the wrong. All right, keep your hair on. But I can't bear the way you speak to me. And I won't have it. Do you hear me? I can't bear to look at you. Lisa, don't say that. I held you in my arms the night Sarah was born. And I promised you I'd try to make everything all right. I'd have died for you that night. I know. <laughs> How can you do this to me, you horrible, hateful girl? Sarah belongs with her family. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry, Lisa. Please don't turn your back on me. bear it if I lost you. Sarah is coming home, and that's it. Yeah, all right. I'll do whatever you want. Just please stop crying. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, have a little bell going to be in the paper. <laughs> Lovely. And how's Samson doing? Um, he's getting there. Yeah. House looks nice, Lisa. Well, don't drown your surprise. We keep a lovely home. What are you smirking at? Just him. You might not think it's what you want, but you'll get used to it. It'll be okay. You're not even a little bit excited. Come on, then, where's my little hey. squirt? <laughs> I was so close. What is she? Emily had gone and a stupid old git of a dad wasn't letting on. What happened? I tried. But not had enough. Hey, you weren't even there. I couldn't get it out of him. What did you do? Well, not half as much as I should have. You battered him? Not more verbal than physical. For God's sake. The man's a pensioner. Never gonna see it again now because of you. Well, I didn't see you fetching out a search party. Alice is tired. Do, do you want to read her a story? <laughs> Do you like the Gruffalo? It's my favourite. <laughs> Do you mind shifting, please? <sighs> I'm sorry about Andy. He's obviously upset. It's more than can be said for some. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Well, I'll see you, Jack. Uh, maybe next time you get a lead. Well, perhaps we should all go. We should go together. Cheeky git. Guess who's praying there won't be a next time? Have I said a word? 
It's for my dad. He doesn't want any. No, for you. Why? I am glad that you're home. Yeah, alone. It's written all over your face. I hear you're planning putting her up for adoption when we do get her back. When are you going to get it into your thick heads? She's not coming back, ever. So much for what you said earlier. I never said that I wanted her back. I just couldn't stand seeing you so upset. Alice is crying. Well, I suppose that's my fault and all. Are you so selfish that you can't even think about anybody else but yourself for five seconds? Calm down, Alicia. I will not have been too calm with this one for too long. Whoa, whoa, you're going nowhere. You got what you wanted. The whole family all to yourself. <sighs> Sally's okay. She's been like this all day. What did you say? That you've been upset all day and you have. Upset is when the pigs are playing up. Upset is when Belle's teacher makes snidey remarks about hand-me-down uniform. Does she? No. Stay! I'm not a dog. You sit there before I flatten you. Cup of tea, anyone? Having your sneaky little face round here, while that poor girl upstairs has got a baby that's fighting for its life. Lisa. While she is fighting for life herself. That isn't my fault. You are like salt in her wounds because you are a girl whose family loves you and supports you, yet you chose to give away a beautiful, healthy child like it were a jumper you got sick of. All right. How will never be all right while that poor baby's roaming this country with a woman who's not even her mother. I am not upset, Debbie. I am broken-hearted. You have broke my heart. And his and your granddad and all of them. At least I admit I'm a useless mother. Maybe you should check yourself. Just shut no, your mouth. no. Let's hear what Miss Clever Clogs has to say. I'm fascinated. But you were so busy sticking your nose into my business at Christmas. Your own kid was missing for a day before you even noticed. Shut up, you cow. She nearly died down a dark hole. And where were you? Sweetheart. 